Hi, Mark Savage here and welcome to my channel. If you're first time here, my channel comprises of three basic things. Mopeds and help how to build them, get them running. Big bikes, reviews and servicing. And a few cars as well, like my Jag. Today's video is going to be simply about mopeds. So if you don't have mopeds, skip to my other 430 videos. Right, so I get asked an awful lot of common questions about mopeds. One that bugs me the most is my bike don't run and I'm supposed to be able to help you fix your moped when you're not explaining to me what you've done. And normally after a few messages back and forwards, it turns out that you haven't serviced it, you've run out of 2T oil, you've only just got the bike, you know nothing about it, or that you forgot to mention you were doing 50 miles an hour flat out for like 10 miles, then the damn thing heat seized. Do try looking at my other videos, they will help. There's 70 on speed fights, 150 in total. Mainly two T's, I don't often work on four T's. Because of these reasons, valves, and it's a lot more difficult to get the engine apart with your cam chain and everything else. So once you've done your own basic checks of servicing spark and wet hand following my videos, then by all means ask me a question and I will try and help. Remember my advice is free. But I often get asked, which today's video is really about, piston failure. Some of you say to me, I've just fitted a new piston um, and it's just not running right. I went out for a little ride and it's not running right and I can't understand why it's a brand new piston. And I say to you, have you checked the piston? And often you'll take the top off the head. So when you take the head off of the bike, so imagine this is a 50cc, I know it's not, but you take it off and all you get to see, again for demonstration purposes only, you get to see that. And you say to me, well, the piston looks fine. It's like an iceberg. Look at all these sides and everything else. All you're looking at is the top and you can't tell if the piston's gone just by looking at the top. And I've said this many times now. This piston was only fitted and did a couple of miles up and down the road. And you can see it's scored. Look at that. Heat seized. Now often you will be able to get the bike started after a heat seize. Oh, it's not too major. And it hasn't obliterated the piston. And this one, as I said, is new. This is what can happen when they explode and go really badly wrong. And as you can see, around the sides of this one, you'd know if your piston was like that when you took the head off. Or in this case, actually started to come away at the sides. Again, you'd spot that, but not necessarily around the sides. If you look around this piston here, this again, 50cc, you can see an awful, awful lot of scoring. And even on this one here, slightly bigger piston, you can see scoring all around it. That is really bad. That's where it's literally locked up and this would probably not start again. So why and what happens? A couple of reasons. Normally it's to do your 2T oil, and I've done a video on 2T oil, please watch that. Cheap, nasty oil will lubricate your engine around here, but the moment the bike gets extremely hot, it stops becoming a lubricant, really. It tries to become a coolant, just doesn't work, and it will heat seize. Other times is your oil pump isn't working. Now there's a simple test to find if your oil pump works, but your bike's got to be running, and you pull the pipe off that goes on the carburetor, that's your oil feed, so trace that through, and then start the bike, and you see it, it sort of bubbles out, as you know what I mean, when it's ticking over. Rev it up, it'll come out more. That's if you know it's working. In that case, you can cross it off your list. Now, these 50cc bikes, most are really made to do 30 mile an hour. Now, we all know with the Speed Fights, Air Roxes, and other 2Ts, you can get a lot, lot more out of them. And I've had a lot out of them before. We're talking 50 plus miles an hour. But the bike really isn't made for that for long, long distances. And of course, the engine gets hotter and hotter and hotter. It's a nice sunny day out today, but it's only air cooled or water cooled. They often aren't up to the job, and you can get heat seizing that way, which ruins the piston. Um, so if it locks up or jams up and then frees up afterwards, don't think you're going to ride again happily because it will get worse and worse and worse because your bike is running with this scored piston. And I know this is new, but it's an example. This is hammering up and down here, okay? If it's scoring the piston and generally the piston is, is a different metal than the outside, generally, um, can you imagine the scoring here and on the side of the actual outer wall of the head as well? So it's going to be pretty messy. They're going to go up and down and then you can get catastrophic failure where the piston just breaks apart and it wrecks everywhere. Now I've had many pistons like this that break off bits of the bottom where it's just smashed and end up at the bottom of the sump. That's something you really need to clean out if you're going to change the head. 
But why am I showing you this anyway? This is a 150cc. Okay, now I say it again and again. So this goes up and down really, really fast, and it will score. Now, the reason why I keep saying, and I did a video, 70cc don't do it. Now, I know the different kits you can get. Put that down. Dirty. I know there's different kits you can get, and I often say 70cc, and they can do 80ccs and 120ccs and so on and so forth. But it's the same thing I'm saying don't do. Now, again, it's my personal view, okay? I generally find that if this is a 50cc and this is a 70cc, they're not made to the same OME, they're cheaper, unless you get really expensive ones, and they fail, okay? So you're on there, you're getting a bit more speed out of it, and it will fail very shortly after. Also, you can't just slap a new piston, let's say 70cc piston, 80cc piston, on a 50cc bike and expect it to run. Remember, your little tiny carburetor, 50cc, 17.5mm, is used to running, used to running a 50cc piston. Why do you think this is going to run this? Now, 17.5mm, you can up jet, 53 jet to 64 jet, you can mess around with the air filter and the exhaust, but it takes tuning. Much more advisable, 19, 21mm carburetor, that will now happily run a bigger piston and a bigger head. I don't like this, but it comes down to, okay, and it's a very, very basics. More air in, more fuel in, bigger bang, much bigger, and the gases have got to get out, not your 50cc. Okay, this is a poor example of an exhaust, I know, but the basics are there. It isn't going to work if you've got a bigger piston and a silly, tiny, pity exhaust. It's not going to work if you put a sports exhaust and a bigger piston in there and a head on there, and you've still not got more gas and more air, coming in it needs to do a whole lot and i haven't even mentioned about tuning the air petrol mix you know of uh, all this i've always said this three half turns six half turns 40 and so on but you need to tune it so what seemed a really simple and good idea at the start just change the head piston and away you go actually now means a lot lot more now again i've often found that you put these 70 kits on and it's only one or two miles, five miles an hour extra. Unless it's really tuned well, then they are quite good if they last. So my advice has always been stick to a good quality 50cc piston. Original OME carburetor, up jet in stages of four. So if it's 53, 57, 61, whatever size they are, 54, 58, 62, so on. Up in fours until you get it running well. Tuning as well. Air filter, don't use them silly little ones, and these are no good here. When it's raining, sucking moisture, it doesn't work very well. Use an insert filter, much, much better. And a sports exhaust, not this one. You're going to get a bike that will run better, sound better, fuel efficient. You get more miles per hour out of it as well. And I've seen with these simple upgrades, a bike go from 30 to 50 mile an hour. Don't always expect that. Mid-range 40s, but still a lot better than your 30 mile an hour. 4T bikes, uh, these overhead valve things, GY6 engines, they are what they are. Generally cheap Chinese bikes, um, reliable, they keep going with your WD-40 maintenance spray around them. But at the end of the day, don't cut the pink wire, a lot of people say do that. There's very small upgrades you can do to them, really small. Um, you are gonna get what you're gonna get. This is only really for 2T bikes you wanna get most out of. Reliability, speed, fun, you've got to weigh up the odds and your budget. So that was a nice, not short video as I thought it was going to be, but nice and simple video to say, that is just not the piston part you see where spark plug goes in here, fires, makes it go up and down, all well and good. But that is not the part when I say to you, check your piston, okay? Yes, there's another 101 things that can go wrong. Crank seals, carburetor not right, spark plug, um, coil, Stator coil, immobiliser, you know, there's lots of things that go wrong with these little bikes, and there are videos on my channel that will help you with most of them, okay? Now, I'm not saying if you buy a 50cc ped that you're gonna be working on it every single weekend, but if you start messing around with them, we'll need to start being able to play around with them a little bit if you wanna start upgrading. I've said this before, many people contact me, my bike's not working, and they forget to tell me that they've upgraded, that they've stuck something else on it. Don't do it unless you carry on with it or you know what you're going to be doing. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Check out my videos. I know it's been a while since my uh, big bike videos and moped videos. It's just I've got an empty shed. As you can see. Just 
not much out there I want to buy, if I'm honest with you. Oh, cool. Hello? <sighs> Don't you hate that? No one talks. Here we go. Like, share, subscribe. Please keep watching. Stay with me. When I get on a bike in, you'll be the first to know. Take care of us on the road. Enjoy the sunshine. We are the Eddie Choir. We like to sing. But are we evidence? <laughs> For many Today's video is going to be simple about... And normally after a few messages... They're going to ask me these basic questions. If I look at... Now this is a 150. Um, these little things here. Hotter and hotter. It's a nice sunny day out today. So why am I showing you? This is a... F again and again. What's the matter, honey? Oh, right. Um, not in here, no. You know I've only got sticky, sticky glue stuff. No, I mean, you know, like you have little phone pads. Yeah, no. Or maybe the seal stuff and a door or something. You know, it's just to put a strip on a each corner or something. If not, I was going to put Velcro pad, but that will slide. Velcro will slide. Yeah, no, I haven't got nothing in it, darling. Unfortunately, I used to have these rolly stuff. Yeah, phone. It's all on. Like. Yeah. Give me a little while. I'll okay, chuck see those if you can find something for me. Yep, we'll do. The four corners. A short interlude there from the wife. <laughs> she says, "Don't put it in." <laughs> I'll have a look later for you. Where was I? Mm. Much more advo Stay. And having put a good idea at the start, just change the head, piston, and away you go, actually now means a lot, lot more. And not worth me paying the excessive money people are asking. I had some Jexers a few years ago and I was paying good money for them, doing them up and then selling them on a few extra pounds, thank you very much. What a great profit. People are asking two years later more than I was selling them for. And they're more damaged and got things wrong with them. Nah. Oh, cool. Here we go. Like, share, subscribe. Please keep watching. Stay with